Last year and this year has been a record for motorhome and van conversion thefts. Now, what can you do to prevent it? Dead simple. So one of the major things that are stopping people from actually stealing motorhomes are trackers. Now, it's a bit of a rainy, miserable day in Ireland today and we thought we'd come on and we would talk about trackers because Emma's been looking online and there has been so many people had their vans got back from having a tracker fitted and they're not expensive. Most of the trackers that are fitted are budget affordable ones you can buy on Amazon. It just kind of makes sense to have them. So in our van we use the Carlock tracker. Now we've been using the Carlock tracker for probably four years now and it just works perfectly. It does many other things bar track your vehicle but we'll get onto that in a minute. Now look at this article these people had their motorhome stolen and if it wasn't for actually having a tracker with an app on board which gives you the location the real-time location gps of the vehicle then they wouldn't have got it back a lot of people who steal vehicles now or a trend that it seems to be with vehicle thefts is that they will steal the vehicle and then they will go and leave it somewhere for 24 hours that's to test whether there is a tracking device on the vehicle because thieves don't know. They can look for it, most trackers are hidden, but they go and put it somewhere, leave it, hopefully no one comes and picks it up, therefore they can then go and take it and you will never see your vehicle ever again. That seems to be a trend when you're looking through forums and when you're looking through Facebook sites and when you're going on Reddit, that seems to be something that has happened. So to have a tracker on your vehicle right now seems to be more important than ever and it really does and they're not expensive they're not going to break the bank when you're spending that much money on a vehicle like this converting it or you've got a motorhome or it could be a caravan it could be a car a bike it could even be a mobility scooter whatever you want you're spending money your money hard earned money that let's face it none of us are millionaires because i know we're not but to have something like that taken from you for the sake of nine pound a month or something like that to have a tracker on it to me it just seems crazy like i said we use the car lock system it's dead easy it's dead simple and above all it's really affordable now there's two types of systems that you can get with the car lock there's the one that goes in the odb port and there's also one that will connect to a 12 volt supply most people will think odb port oh you plug it in and the thief knows where it is well yeah they probably will yeah you can get extension leads you can get things that kind of break off and you can hide it somewhere but they can still reach in and pull it out if they know where your odb port is so for some people that might be an option but they do another one which is just 12 volt it does a little bit less than the odb port one which is connected to your vehicle because it's not connected to the vehicle's computer so some things the 12 volt one can and some things it can't do but for tracking purposes that one is spot on and the bonus is it's real time tracking as well it's not you know you were here last week it it will show your location of where you are right now it does wait on a data service there is a subscription charge but you're paying for a service to have your vehicle tracked. It also does loads of other things. It doesn't just track the vehicle. It will track your driving. It will track your cornering. It will track, are you braking too heavy? It will, has a shock vibration sensor built into the unit. That comes as standard. So whether you get the 12 volt one or whether you get the ODB port one, it's got shock sensitivity built into it. And most people think cheap, not worth it. Well, then people would be wrong. Now, they don't just do the basic tracking. There are things you can add on as well. This is one of them. That's a shock sensor. Again, affordable. This will tell the actual tracking unit, the actual car lock system, whether there's been a knock, whether there's been vibration detected on a specific part of the vehicle. So the normal sensor within the actual unit, that will detect vibration as a whole. These add-ons, well, they will detect them per unit. So if you've got them on your back doors, if you've got them on your side doors, on your sliding doors, on a window, it will tell you 
which part has been activated. So if someone's trying to get into the back doors, it will tell you back doors vibration detected. Yeah, you do have to go in. You do have to actually name them. It doesn't know just by fitting it on there, it's on the back door. You do all that by yourself. But again, affordable. They're really cheap to buy. They're really easy to set up. But if you don't want one of them, that's fine. But you do need a tracker. Now we do have a Cat 2 alarm system on our vehicle and it's loud. It is mega, mega loud. Some thieves just don't care. Like they will happily drive your vehicle away from your home or wherever you've left it with the alarm going off. Now, when I say our system is loud, it's extremely loud. That's loud. Like you wouldn't want to be driving with that, but they do, they don't care. So again, the benefits of having a tracker on your vehicle just outweigh the cost of what it is and it's only a small cost as well now the car lock tracker does come with an app and the app is dead simple to use yeah you have to go on you have to sign up for an account with them there is a monthly charge but you do get one month free you can buy them on amazon there's links in the description below where you can get them from and there might be a little bonus for you as well if you want to go and get one but you can get them dead cheap, fit them, and you can hide them wherever you want. And like I said, you get a month free. Now, the subscription service is a paid service because it's monitoring your vehicle. There is, it's using data, and let's face it, we all spend money on junk. You may as well spend some money on something that means something. Another bonus thing that Carlock do is the actual Carlock tag. What the tag does is it detects whether your phone is by the vehicle or away from the vehicle. Once your phone moves away from the vehicle, which you can set the parameters in the actual sentence, whether you want it to be 10 foot, 20 foot, 30 foot, whatever, you can set them in the parameters. Once your phone moves away from the vehicle, it automatically locks it. So for me, having a tag is probably really important because I do forget to put it on. So there has been loads and loads of motorhomes and thefts and things like that and it's all over facebook even the police now have started using facebook to tell people about vehicles being stolen you see nightmare stories all the time and this isn't something that we would like to happen to you because it's something that i don't think anybody would like to happen but you read about it day in day out it's every couple of days a motorhome or a van conversion has gone missing it's been stolen but a lot of the times with a basic affordable tracker, the motorhome or the van conversion or whatever you want has been recovered because it's real time GPS tracking. The real time tracking on the car lock tracker works perfectly. Like so many people have done on Facebook and on forums and on Reddit, they've passed the information onto the police, they've given police the access to the phone or they've given the police the phone, they've took her in, and they've been able to track the car, the vehicle, the motorhome, the van, and the thieves have been caught red-handed in the vehicle. Now you're gonna moan at me now, oh, this is just an advert for car lock. Well, yeah, it is an advert for car lock, basically. But we just think it's really important that we all have these vehicles and we all go away. And sometimes you don't think you're gonna be the victim. But how many people are the victim? Because I will guarantee you 100% of them people thought that they're not going to be the victim. Anyone can be the victim. You can be the victim. We could, you know, even though we've got a tracker on, even though we've got an alarm system on, even though we've got a clutch lock and a this lock and a that lock and whatever lock it is, it could still be you, it could still be us. Hopefully, with the systems we've got in place, we can get the van back. What about the people that just don't think it's going to be them? It won't be me, I'm not going to get that. Yeah, it could be you. Don't let it be you. At least give yourself the option to maybe fight back a little bit. Now, it was a bit of a gloomy day before. It was all grey and overcast and horrible. Emma's doing admin. And I thought, ideal time to do this. But the sun's come out. Irish weather. Climates of its own. Mini, mini climates, that's what we call them. Mini climates in Ireland. It can be raining one minute then absolutely lashing down the next. You never know what you're going to get. I guarantee within 10 minutes, 
ever it'll change. So I think we'll take the dogs out for a little wander through the forest, get the um, legs a-walking. <laughs> 